Hi, right now this is I'm going to show you how to update the code in a um, S in an NC3C uh, the CAN sensor. It doesn't really matter what code you've actually got in it at the moment. Uh, you're going to need to update it to the new version, which is 402B at the moment. Uh, we will be doing another version of it just a productionized version of the same code it's going to do exactly the same thing as what you're going to get in this one you open the flash tool you don't actually need it to have actually loaded the device into iCANSoft at this time so flash tools here now if you've actually got lots of sensors to update then you can do multiple sensors in at one time. I'm just going to move this into the middle of the screen. Okay. Now there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. You can either search the network, in which case you'll see all of the devices you've actually got on the network, or we can actually search for a specific device type. Okay. So if we look down here, if we go down to a hundred and um, just down the bottom here, 101. Okay, now we can just search our network and it will only find CAN sensors. I've only got one on the network. Here it is. Okay, tells me the device number, what it is, this is the name, serial number, the firmware version, what we're actually interested in. That's one way of finding them. If you don't, if you've actually got lots and lots of them and they've already been renumbered into um, different segments then you can actually search by segment as well okay so we'll clear this list put in segment 200 and search the network again right now at the moment we don't have this as a file embedded within uh, the flash tool so I've already sent you another file for you to actually use and this is what we call a raw file so in order to select the device we want to actually update you go ahead and you just tick in this box here now the next thing to do is to go and find the file that you want to actually upload into here now it's very important that you don't try and upload into it anything which it isn't designed to actually have in it so just be careful of that All right, so here we go we're going to use this as our browse button and I've already put this on the desktop just to make it easy here's our file 402b hex open alright now yours might have different firmware versions in them uh, from 402a once we've actually done we've got this in here now we can press the upload if you have multiple sensors down here you can tick uh, as many as you like and do them all in one go. Personally I would only do about 10 at a time. Uh, it does make it slightly slower if you actually um, do more and I just like to do them in small batches. Okay so if we now just click on the upload and you see down the bottom the timeline and in the background you can see in iCANSoft all the messages actually being sent out so we've got to wait till both of those timelines get to the end there's no other buttons on here you need to actually press now uh, if you're using I'm using IP to actually do this but if you're using uh, I can soft via a node it will work in exactly the same way same kind of speed uh, you'll just have it'll just be slightly different down here the flash tool will automatically pick up on whatever method you're connecting onto the network so once this is uploaded what we're going to do is we're just going to actually do a, a clear of the list and then we're going to search the network again just to actually uh, make sure that uh, our code has actually updated to 402b Right. 
what this the change we've done here has added the capability to actually add in an extra area for the HVAC control this is simply a message that gets sent when occupancy is detected and it will send another message when occupancy has ceased and the end of the occupancy time will be the time when the lights would normally turn off but doesn't mean to say that you've actually got to turn the lights on for it to actually work I'll demonstrate it working in a moment on another video okay so it's uploaded now okay the timelines have actually gone away it was 402A if I do a clear and I do a search you can now see it's B. Okay, so I'm going to leave this video here. You'll see another one in a moment about how to configure the uh, uh, you, the the CAN sensor. Okay.